All right, ladies. Well, this is amazing. I am just so excited to let, actually see so many faces. You know, we've done so many groups and tried so many different things that this is, I mean, our best turnout. So this just makes my heart completely happy. But um, so welcome to Ready, Set, Grow. I don't know about you ladies, but I am just over the moon ready to do this and we've got such a great team here um so i know there's a few of you who weren't in the group before there are four of us returning so um kelly teeny becca one <laughs> and i um we were all part of a group last oh, and stephanie and we were all part of a group um last year and there was 10 of us I'm in there that were running for Crystal Executive, and we had such an amazing time. So we tried to recreate that with um, our Dreamers and Shakers, but I think um, even myself, I bit off a little more than I could chew. So there was a lot of people in there. Um, some of the people I've never even met before. Half of them, you know, were Merediths, and I didn't know any of them and had no connection to them. So it was just kind of you know. I really didn't know where to kind of follow up with them or do, and everybody just kind of felt, got lost in the shuffle. So I'm pretty, you know, safe and confident to say that these smaller groups work a lot better. And uh, I don't know about you girls, but uh, if you want to chime in and kind of share a little bit about what you guys felt, I know it was just huge team bonding, and we, I really believe we pushed each other So I'll, I'll chime in. Okay. Um, the thing that I liked about it is um, I like the small group. I like the intimacy of it. We get to know each other a little bit better. And then I find that I'm thinking about these people when I'm not even on Facebook and just kind of like, oh my gosh, I wonder how they did today. Or I wonder how that particular thing turned out for them, um, whether it was business related or personal. So um, there was definitely a little bit more of an intimate aspect to it. And um, I don't know. I kind of felt like I really wanted to please everybody because I'm a pleaser. That's just in my personality. But um, it was easier to please a smaller number of people and to not let them down. Whereas a group of people would be like, yeah, I don't care. They don't know who I am. So that's how I feel. Uh, Becca, I'm with you. I um, and actually am a people pleaser too. And that helped because um, I... I was more, I guess, I, for me, it was more like I didn't want to let anybody down. And so, in turn, it didn't let myself down. Um, and then just the support of a small group. Like, um, we all did each other's welcome calls. We all did each other's three-way calls. And it's just so much easier when it's a small group because then not only do we get to know each other, but we know, like, just how it flows in our stories and who, you know, if you're talking to a prospect, you know to who to call and set that up with and so um i just and, and it got exciting like i would you know we would get on these calls and then we would celebrate each other's successes and i think that's a driving force too because you hear you know you get all those acclimates that you it feels good it feels good when somebody's telling you congratulations let's go keep on going so um that's what i loved about it as well I agree. But I have one more thing. Also, it was great to like come together at celebration and um, be together and be in that vibe after we worked really hard towards a goal. So I think the timing for this is perfect because we have like two months, I think, until celebration. So we have some significant goals to accomplish with each other. And um, it's awesome just to hug it out in person instead of virtually hug. <laughs> okay. Kelly or Steph, you want to chime in or? I mean, they pretty much said exactly what I think. I think the smaller group made me feel more connected to people. I wanted to please them. Like Becca said, you think about them like, oh, I wonder how Lindsay did today, even though you hadn't, you know, and it's like when you see the messages, the messages aren't so overwhelming. Like in the other group, you would get on and I'm like, I am 77 messages deep and I don't even know where to begin. So then I would just like not read them because I'm just like, I just, you know, so it just kind of, that's one thing I like about the intimacy of the small group is we're getting to know each other because we're not having 77 messages to catch up. So 
Um, yeah, but they pretty much hit everything now on the head. They already said it all. Okay. You know what I did love about it is, you know, because as moms and women and just trying, you know, daily life struggles, you know, some days really suck. So what I really enjoyed at the end of the day, I know I'd be able to pop in and, you know, I could say, you know, God, I had such a crappy day and all of us would just jump in, post these funny little, you know, like we've already started and it's just, it is, I go to bed or I went to bed with, you know, not stressed out. I felt so much better and I felt like I wasn't alone because, you know, talking to kids all day or, you know, whatever it may be, it's nice to know that other moms are feeling the same thing and feeling your pain and making you feel better. So that's one thing I did really, I think that was my favorite part of it. But with that being said, um, I'm going to go red right now and failure is not an option. Okay. All of you have amazing goals. Um, some of them, I think you need to raise the bar a little higher. Um, <laughs> I don't remember who it was. Uh, um, we're going to go through the page, and I'll, I'm going to call you out. So, um, But, you know, when I started this, I went in to celebration. My first celebration, Dana kept telling me, you need to go to celebration. You need to go to celebration. I did not want to do this as a business at all. I needed a business, another one like a hole in the head with my five kids and everything else I had going on so far off my radar. Well, kids drove me crazy one day, so I went in, my husband said, I'm going to San Diego, because for me, it was a vacation. So when I went to my first celebration, I was that person with my arms crossed in the back going, oh my God, they're all drinking the Kool-Aid. And I was just like, and they are all happy. So, and I'm a happy person anyways, but I was just like, they were really happy. So, um, you know, Kathy Cooper got up on stage and she said, you know, okay, I want you guys to write in your calendar where you're, where you see yourself. And we were starting a 90 day, you know, game plan. We're a little short of 90 days, but that's not a problem. Okay. Um, we already have businesses established for the most part, and you have people that you're already talking to. So we're already ahead of the game. So I put in my calendar, Crystal Executive. I was going to be Crystal Executive at the end of the 90 days. That first week I came home, I was so fired up. By that Wednesday, I became Crystal Director. By that Sunday, I was Crystal Executive. Okay? I did not think big enough. I did not dream big enough. So... When we tell you, you know, think big, dream big, write it out big, do it. It's for a reason because I found myself going, <laughs> okay, well, now I have a problem. What am I going to do now? I already hit my goal. So, you know, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to change that. Now I'm going to put a one star. Three weeks later, I got one star. Okay. So, Things are possible. And I did that in the pockets of my life, ladies. I mean, I would call people and I'm like, excuse the screaming children in the background. I'm so sorry. But I did. I, I worked it in. And I, I busted my butt. I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of work. But, you know, we have kind of systems in play here. We're going to be able to back each other up. We get to be a little creative with, um, you know, how we can help put orders in and everything else. We have, you know, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of us who know how to do three-way calls really well. So there's no excuse for that. And I know when it comes to three-way calls, I don't know if any of you, are you a little leery about three-way calls, any of you? Getting somebody on the phone? Okay, Katie? Tina, was that you too? Was that a hand? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I think it's my red personality. I felt threatened. Dana's like, let's do three-way calls. I'm like, uh, no, I've got this covered. Um, but I knew if, somebody, if she would have called me and on a three-way call, I would have felt threatened. And I would have been, nope, no thank you. So... What I started doing, and Kelly and I kind of started it right off the bat, uh, 
we would put people in group chats. So if she had somebody, you know, that needed, you know, a little more information, we would start a three-way chat. She would throw her friend Kim in there, me and herself, and she'd say, hey, Marquis, you know, this is my friend Kim. She's, you know, a nurse like me, and, you know, she's doing this, and she has, you know, she may have some questions, and I would jump in immediately. It made it a little less threatening, and where we were able to, you know, nail down and get her on that three-way call because I'm here to tell you the three-way calls is where it's at and enough of us know how to do it there's no excuse why you can't but I know for myself personally I have probably about an eight ninety five percent success rate of closing the deal now I can sell president's pack to anybody except for my own people I don't know what it is but I think it's because I'm too close <laughs> to the situation so, you know, sometimes it's nice to have somebody else come in and do that too. So, to help you out with that three-way call. So, I am going to jump on our page because I'm going to kind of walk through where, you know, what I see for us in the next, you know, two months. All right. Um, first of all, we are going to learn to rebrand ourselves. Every six weeks, we are going to post a new profile picture to keep it fresh and happy. Um, Becca, one, <laughs> I was gonna ask you um, if you could help the girls that are in your area, if you can maybe help them with a couple headshots so we can get like nice professional looking headshots on there. <laughs> um, yes. um, Kelly, I'm going to, you and I are going to get together with Raquel and we're going to do some headshots so we can do some nice ones and get those posted as well. Okay. Lindsay, you're a photographer. I know you can do your own, <laughs> um, but maybe you and Stephanie get together and you can help Steph with hers too. So, and maybe, and with Tasha too. Tasha's in your area. <laughs> so, um, now, Bridget, Tina, and Carol, I don't know where you guys live. Are you all in Denver? No. Yeah, I'm in Denver. Okay. So maybe we can kind of do a – I want to do a photo day with all my peeps here in town. So we're just going to go down either to the train depot or whatever we decide. Um, we're just going to go and have, you know, knock it out for an hour and just do a couple headshots. So. Yeah, I'm in San Antonio, but I have someone I can ask to help. Okay. Okay, so just keep in mind that every six weeks we're going to rotate new pictures, okay? I just had my girlfriend come out um, Friday and I did a photo shoot. She came to the gym with me. She came, I did a whole, I mean, she put them in the mail today. I'm a little afraid to see what comes back, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> but there's a reason why I'm a photographer and I'm on the other side of the lens. Beck, I think, and Lindsay, you can relate. It drives me nuts. I hate being on the other side of the camera. But, okay, so we're going to go through the, um, the Facebook page real quick. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, I'm going to do, okay, ignore my screen in the background because it does look like it threw up on itself. That's how I work. <laughs> okay, um, so here's our page. Um, if you have not all had a chance to go through, please do. Up here in the files tab, I've created some files. I will be adding more. Go Sissy. Okay, so first of all, I wanna go over the commitment real quick. You can read through it, but this is basically an outline. You know, when, because we're building our team, we want to grow our business and get to executive. That's the ultimate goal. Okay. So what I am asking and I'm doing myself and everything ladies I ask of you, I will be doing myself. I am not exempt from any of this homework. We are doing it together. Okay. So I will not ask anything of you that I would not do myself. So I am going to be personally enrolling people. I'm going to be coaching and having them do the same, okay? Now granted, I know not everybody is gonna be a business builder, okay? Because we, we, we know that through all the training and whatnot, 
but we do want to, you know, when we do the welcome calls, those are important because we get to say, you know, if you don't feel comfortable talking business with them, we get to get on the phone with them and welcome them to, you know, Isogenics and say, you know, hey, I just want to let you know you're entitled to $800. We can get your next box paid for, and I would love to help you with that. So that kind of opens up that door. Um, otherwise, you know, we would like, you know, whether it is in, you know, like Ignite Your Life or the Wasted Page, we want them posting and being active because then if they feel comfortable posting and Wasted or Ignite Your Life, chances are once they start having that success and everything else, they're going to be a little more open to posting in the personal page. Okay, so I want you guys to, you know, we're going to keep, teach everything that you guys get from here. We're going to be coaching and teaching your people to do the same. It's all about duplication. Okay, the second one is, um, I don't, I will go through that, but we're all going to create an album in the photos tab. And I'll walk you through that as well here in a second. Um, the reason for that is to keep it nice and clean. So a lot of people, you know, we're posting pictures and whatnot, but if we put it in our albums, we'll be able to, you know, say, you know, Carol, you decide to say, you know, hey, I posted this picture. Um, you can check it out in my album, but I really That's me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. Um, but that way, you know, it's easier for us, instead of having to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, it's in your album, and we can all go back and go through our albums and make edits and tweak and, you know, kind of see what we did wrong and whatnot, okay? Um, number three, we're going to be posting two times a day on social media. So Instagram is great because you can automatically set it to post on Facebook as well. So, um, but one of them will be a guided post from me, and we're gonna be starting those next week, are they gonna be the guided posts. We're gonna start working and um, going through those later on this week, getting and prepping for like Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, okay? So one will be guided from me. The other, um, you only wanted to put three max, but at least another one is gonna be basically something, you know, your kid's doing something, or lifestyle, you know, you going crazy or, you know, have, going grocery shopping and putting all the healthy stuff, you know, in your cart, whatever it may be. So it's going to be more of a lifestyle post versus the guided post, okay? Uh, you, we also want you to be posting once a day in Wasted or Ignite Your Life. That is because it's going to create momentum, Okay. And it's going to be all your people that you are going to be adding into the group and welcoming them and doing all that. They're going to see you active in the group. And they're going to go, oh, wow, she really knows what she's doing. And she's, you know, look at her posting. And they're going to see you more as a professional versus somebody who just threw them in there. Okay? So um, that's basically here. You can go through and read all of this. Um, the schedule, again, this is what we're going to be doing um, pretty much every day. Uh, I do want to, I'm going to skip down here. Um, oh, right here in daily posts, here's a great quick tips. Like if you run out of ideas of what to post, you know, you can ask a question. You know, what you think maybe one of your peeps might be, you know, looking for or, you know, and have, because everybody else in the group is going to, you know, chime in. So, you know, do shout outs, whatnot. Um, okay, where is the one I was looking for? Um, okay, wherever you go, this is my best friend. This does not leave my side when I am out in public. I get more questions about this when I'm out. Oh, what is that? And I normally have replenished or something in it, but, you know, if I'm running out, I always have something isogenics in my hand. Okay, you are a walking billboard for your business. So my, I pimp my children out too. They all carry something too. So, you know, uh, don't be afraid. It's, you know, it's gonna, it just helps strike up that conversation, okay? Um, 
We are also going to be tomorrow's homework, which we'll go over here in a minute. Um, I want you to start going through and thinking tonight who you look up to when you um, are on social media. When you look and see, you know, five people who you like their Facebook posts and Facebook, you know, who you follow and who you kind of resonate with. So for me, you know, I have, you know, oh gosh, um, Kayla's one of mine, uh, Laura Stevens, uh, gosh, I can't remember. There's so many of them that I actually really, you know, kind of follow daily. But um, so I want you to, we're going to go over that here in a minute, but I want you to start thinking about that tonight. Okay. Keep your social media, no politics, especially with all the politics that's going around right now. <laughs> and you know what? I, I don't like any of them that are running, so I won't ever say anything. <laughs> we just want to stay away from negativity or anything like that. Um, and then that's it for here. Again, you can kind of go through, read all of these. Um, so week one. So I don't know how many of you are done, but um, Teeny beat me to the punch and I loved it. I was going to talk to you about it tonight. When you guys are done with your homework, I kind of want you to post in the group saying, you know, I did it. Two reasons. It's going to hold you accountable. We're going to see it. <laughs> and two, you're going to feel great. You got your stuff done. And you accomplished what you were, you know, on that list. Okay. So that's, that's the main reason. Um, so we're going to introduce yourself. So if you have not had an opportunity tonight before you go to bed, I just want you guys to just jump in there real quick. Just say, you know, hey, I, you know, like for me, I'm, I'm a mama five. Put your color in there. So we can kind of go through and, you know, so we know how to help you when we're helping you. <laughs> um, let's see. What else do we do? Yes. Sorry to interrupt real quick. Uh -huh. Also, too, when it helps um, for you guys to post that you're done, it helps everybody to go to your page and love on your page, too. Because yes. we want to keep everybody, everybody high on people's feeds. So that's another reason why we want you guys to post that you're done so we can go love on your posts. Yes, thank you. Sure, sorry. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm just trying to crash through. So you guys chime in whenever you, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, um, also, if you don't know your color, the link is right here. So just go to color codes, yeah, answer a bunch of questions, but I think most of you all know your colors. And then uh, I want you to go, this was a hard one for me. I knew what I wanted to do, and I'm stubborn and red. So I actually never wrote down my goals, what I was going to be. I did this time. <laughs> so I've got five star all over my house. My kids are like, what is five star, mom? So I had to explain to them. So they all know that mommy's a five star. My son even told me this morning, mommy, you're a five star. I said, yes, honey, I am. So write it down, post it, post it in your album. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But, so go through, this is what we're going to be doing for the week. This is our weekly homework. So if you scroll down here um, on Wednesday, that's when we're going to start talking about our Transformation Tuesday for next week, okay? What we're going to have you guys do is we're going to have you pick a picture and have you post it in the group page first, in your album, okay? And you're going to put your wording as if you were posting it on your Facebook page. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through and critiquing it. And I don't mean critiquing it like pulling it apart, like, well, this sucks. But, you know, I know for me, sometimes I get going during the day and I'm just like, my brain is fried. Okay. My brain boost is worn off and I am done. I've screamed at too many children and... I'm done. So my brain doesn't function. But you guys might actually see, you know, well, what if you, you know, word it this way? And, or grammatical errors. Okay, that's, you know, one of the big things you just want to make sure all your grammar is in check and whatnot. So we're going to be able to help us do that. The nice thing is about getting it all done. We're helping each other get it all done. If it's perfect, it's perfect. It's great. Guess what, guys? It's already done for next week. We're done. 
So we're going to be able to, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. There's an app I'm going to have you guys download where we get to schedule it. So we don't even have to think about it. It's all done. Schedule it, post it, set it for next week. Out of sight, out of mind. Gives you more time to leverage to meet and talk with your people and follow up with your five and do, you know, your normal daily routine. Okay. So any questions on this page? Nope. For Katie, do you want, um, for our first Transformation Tuesday about us, use our story? Um, or can we use somebody else's? I think we can use somebody else's. It just, yeah. Um, I know, like, I, I don't want every week that you're using somebody else's. Okay, at some point, we're going to need to use our own, which means me included. <laughs> so, me too. I know, but, um, you know, yeah, we can, it's, it's important to share everybody else, you know, and celebrate them, but you also need to, you know, your transformation doesn't have to be physical. And that's what a lot of people, you know, are hung up on. Well, you know, I kind of fell off the wagon and it doesn't have to be physical. It could be financial. It could be, you know, just you being a happy mom again, playing with your kids, just take a picture of you and your kids. And, you know, that kind of stuff. So and that's your transformation. You're a happy mom now. When my daughter, you know, when I was sending my box back, when I first ordered it, I was going to send it back, picked him up, took him to the park. And when I came home, my daughter told me I was a fun mommy now. I knew that box wasn't going back. That's going to be one of my transformation Tuesdays. So things like that, because I was a fun mommy now. I'm not that screaming, yelling, naggy mom. Sometimes I am if I don't have all my ionics. But, <laughs> but you know, it can be anything. Anything that you have physically, mentally, you know, changed in your life that is for the better. So, okay. So that is there. Okay, so this is how we are going to create... Your album. Let's see how many people are in here. <gasps> Look. Okay. So we've got Tasha, Stephanie. Okay. So a couple of you. Okay. Here it is. Manager. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Where are you, Katie? Okay. Katie. You could do a lot more than manager. <laughs> By 715. Okay calling you out right now. This is, this is, I'm loving on you. <laughs> and we're going to help you get there. You're not alone. Okay. We are. Okay. <laughs> we're going to get you past that girl. Okay. So here's all the albums, but like, um, I'll put mine up real quick. Cause I have a couple in here. Okay. Wait, just kidding. Okay. Albums. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing this correctly. Okay. So here is, there's two empties. Oh, Stephanie's is empty. Okay. Um, so question mark, you may, whoever made that one, <laughs> just change to your name. You can go ahead and edit and um, change it to your name. Okay. So this is like when we're going through, we're going to be able to go like in here and I have a couple pictures that I already posted. Here's my posts of my five star. Five star here, five star there. So everything that I post in here on the page. Now when you post in your album, it's automatically gonna post to the wall. So that's kind of the cool part. And then you can just go and edit and change whatever you wanna do, okay? Anybody else have any questions about the page or what's going on here? Nope. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing so I can see all your pretty faces. There we are. Hello. <laughs> so, um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You know, I want us all to be able to, you know, duplicate and teach our people how to brand themselves correctly by doing it ourselves. Okay. And that is where the business is. It's all with getting your people fired up, getting them excited. You know, I, when I first, I, cause I did, I did it so fast that a lot of my people just kind of, you know, they 
went away. It disappeared. And it kind of sucks. So I am personally rebuilding my team. And I've got, you know, an amazing team. And I've got some of them that are back, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I want you guys to believe in yourself. You can do this. Again, you're not alone. You have any of us to reach out, chime in in you know, our little group message. If you're having a crappy day, just, you know, hey, I had a really crappy day. This lady yelled at me and hung up on the phone. And Lindsay would probably tell her, you know, or tell you to tell her to throw ionics at her. So you know, it's fun stuff like that, that, you know, we're all here and we're a happy family. And, you know, that, that's, that's pretty much my spiel. So does anybody, you guys can unmute yourselves. Any questions throw at us or whatnot? No? I just want to say that I'm really excited and grateful for this opportunity. I don't know how I was lucky enough to get in the group, but um, this is exactly what I could only dream for. So I'm really excited. Thank you. You're so welcome. I'm glad to have you. Um, just want to give a shout out to Rebecca Mogg. Her and Matt enrolled somebody right before they hopped on this. Uh, Evening. So congratulations. And they're a husband wife team now. She's adding them to the, her team name. That's it's huge. amazing what happens when you have to pay the mortgage. Just <laughs> saying. <laughs> Tina, how did your meeting go? Tina had a face to face with a to total stranger today. So, yeah, you know. It's, it's funny because this was the easiest conversation. Um, she was ready when she called me. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I so believe in fate and destiny because it, it's just interesting. It's her profession. As you know, she counsels teenagers and families that are having difficult times. Um, she's got her own business. But it when she grabbed my card off of – the bulletin board at the gym that I put there months and months and months ago. I didn't even think anybody walked or checked that board anymore. Um, she said that there were two isogenics cards up on the board and she picked mine because one of the, um, one of our pillar, the, the visions has the laugh out loud, the splash paint. I, I didn't know what to pick when I, I had to have a business card way back when. And she picked it because so bright eerie, she said, I want to be with people that are like that. So I, that's why I picked you. Oh. And she's really excited. Uh, yes, I wish she would have signed up with the president's pack. Because yes, you know, but you know, like all the tips that I was getting today is to take yourself out of the equation, take yourself out of the equation. Got her set up right where she wanted to be. And I had a, because she did isogenics 10 years ago. And she knows the system works. And her kept trying to talk her and all this other ways of eating and she's like no I know isogenics works for me so that's when she went and found my card um, but she's really excited and we just we had a really good connection so yeah I got her enrolled that's why I was a few minutes late as well congratulations it's exciting yay it, just, it felt really darn good connecting with a total stranger and you know just wanting to help other Improve their their lives. It's it's not me. Yes, someday it, it's going to be grand and all that, but it's just genuine, and I love it. Seriously proud of you. That's awesome. Very proud of you. Very cool. Thank you. I uh, so I'm Tasha. Um, I know some of you, and some of you, it's the first time I've seen your beautiful face. Um, but so <laughs> I don't know how, like God works in like really funny, funny ways. Um, I moved from my Bay area home to podunk town of Lodi, which I don't know many people have even, even heard of this town. Um, <laughs> it is quite amazing and it is a hidden, hidden gem and I, and I know why people don't hear about it. Um, however, through um, my job, my preschool, I met a mom who saw me using my green shaker bottle, drinking my shake, and she goes, is that an isogenics bottle? 
I've only been working there like a month. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, yep, I just enrolled with my first pack. I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then, you know, right away you become best friends with anybody that does isogenics. You're like BFFs. So we did the whole like, ah, and it was funny. And everyone stared at us. But then I see this girl who friended me on Facebook like a month ago. Her name is Jennifer. And I'm like, I have no connection to her. And she lives in Lodi. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I seeing Marquis? What? Whoa. First off, like, why are all my friends her friends? So I reached out, and she's actually under Meredith, Meredith, our Meredith. She's under her other leg. I'm like, I'm under Meredith. <laughs> like, what? Like, these two random people in this small podunk town are on this same exact team. And the exciting part is her and I and my, that parent, Jamie, are going to host our first launch party in Lodi, June 11th, at my house. <laughs> So I am like super excited because I am like all of seven weeks from graduating college and putting that chapter behind me so that I can run full fledged crystal executive one star no later than December. And um, that way I can stay home because we want to have a baby. <laughs> so lots going on. But, um, but this is the first start is going to be first of many. So I plan on doing one a month um, out of my home. And the other thing is one of um, – I started this local FunFit mom group, which you all should start. Like I know we have our FunFit global group, but you should do one for your own little town. I have 25 moms in this group who I encourage locally. Four of them have become my friends. Three of them have joined the gym and do personal training with me. And one of them just ordered her box and started her first day today. So it's super awesome because now I'm building this local team. And when we launch our party June 11th, she will be one month almost through her box. So what an amazing fresh off the boat testimony of like, I've only been doing this for three weeks and look at this craziness. And so I'm just super excited to see where that goes. And, um, you know, don't one thing, okay, don't be afraid of post cleansing pictures post because I was and I posted and I had two people call, call me out and do calls with me this week and then tonight I just posted a business one so we'll see where that goes but those are my three cents for this week I've grown a lot I've challenged myself I okay creeper in the background go get in bed <laughs> I know okay go anyway so I'm growing in the pockets of my time I'm super excited for this group I'm super scared and um I don't know I'm ready to go all right, awesome. Woo okay, so I'm going to have, before we end this, I'm going to go around and I want to know, now everybody still knows that we have free enrollment this week, right? Okay, so it's till Sunday. So my goal is I want to enroll four people before the end of the week. Okay, so that's my personal goal. So we're going to go across the top here. So Kelly, how many are you going to enroll? Four? All right. Tasha, how many? Two. Okay. Lindsay? Four. The four or five? The five? <laughs> okay. Becca squared. Four. Teeny? Two. Okay. Katie? Two. Two. Carol? Two. Awesome. Becca? Three. All right. <laughs> Steph? Three. All right. Look at that. We got a trend going on. Bridget, how about you? Uh, two. Two. All right. And Tina? You already got one, so you've got one to go. So, awesome, ladies. Let's try to keep at least two. Let's not throw that money away. <laughs> that is the hardest thing. I know I'm just like, oh man. But you know, two or more, you get the double pins. Let's just get it done, dial down, and you know, we can help with three-way calls, whatever you guys need. Uh, if you need anything, if you guys make your post or whatnot, let's use that, or if we're having our crappy day, uh, <laughs> or just quick shout outs, if you guys are really excited. That's what I wanna use the instant messenger for. Um, or if you guys have a quick, you know, hey, can one of you help me with the three-way call or any quick questions, mm -hmm. the group page I want to keep for us to kind of, you know, all business. We have it all structured, all laid out, and that's where we're going to get all our work done. Can okay. we post what we do the numbers? 
So everybody has their phone numbers? Yes, let's, um, let's make a, I'll make a file. We can make a file with, um, it's edible. Mm -hmm. So you guys can just go in and edit and add your name, phone number, email, and all that jazz, okay? So can we do like uh, what we did with the uh, Dreamers and Shakers, like maybe posting a three-way um, call level for the people that are really good at calls, so that way we're not always asking the same person, or maybe I have a four o'clock, but you know, so and so I'm not, so we're not scrambling for three ways. Like I know well, I'm not good at three ways. The only thing, the only thing that I'm gonna not at this stage right now. Only because my I'm going to be plugging in and my schedule is going to be pretty booked. So I will rearrange personally when I can do and I will make whatever, you know, work you guys in any way I can. Okay. Uh, but that, you know, we blocked off a couple days because we were doing that run. So it made it a little easier for us. So, but I think, you know, we have enough of us in this group right now that are really good at it that one of us should be able to do it. Okay. So, any other questions, ladies? Okay, is everybody okay with maybe doing at least one Zoom a week on Monday nights, same time? Are we good for that? Okay, so we're gonna plan on that. That way we can nail our Monday, you know, run and, you know, get our week kicked off, ready to go, and plan everything out. So, all right, girls, well, you guys have a great evening. Love you all. I'm so excited to do this with you guys. You guys have a great week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oh.